I'm going to show you how I do my corners on a cut, cat cut tarp. There's other people that do corners, but nobody does it like me that I've seen. So I'm going to show you how I do it. The ridge line corners and the four corners on the end with the tarp lines. They, where you put the, uh, what do you call those? Put the stakes down. All those four corners, yeah, I use a different uh, pattern for each because it's a different triangle on the ridge line than it is in the corners. And so first, I'm, I'm just going to show you the ones on the bottom where you put your, I don't I think you call them guidelines, I'm not sure. So this is how we do it. We start by putting our, I've uh, done a hem on the top here. And we put the inside facing up here and the inside of this one facing up there. You can use different colors if you want. And then we're going to sew here. And I'm using a polyester band, which is kind of a pain to sew, but I got a strong machine, so it should work. And so this is how you have to put it in there. You put this in, you fold it like that. This is the strong, I've seen other, I used to do it like this. But this is a little stronger, a little better form to it. And you put it upside down inside here. Like that. And then you put this one on top. And now we're going to sew from there, over, and back. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. Oh, I sew on the back edge here. And now I'm going to stick this one in. We make sure that this is parallel with that. The edge is sticking out. And then what I try to do is imagine where that line is going to hit. And I want it to hit about there, because I want that much of it to stick out later when I fold it back around again noticed after I sew this band here that there's a there's a lot of air in between this layer and the under layer there and I usually drop three stitches here so what I do is on my machine I can increase the tension on the of the presser foot it pushes the presser foot down a lot harder now I used to use my finger to push it down like this and then you sew like eight stitches here and if you look back here we didn't drop any. So that's going to look like this. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pocket in here. I'm going to sew this corner down with a couple of stitches. And then I'm going to sew there and there. And this makes a pocket to put your guy line in. But there's a little bit of a problem. I'm going to end up hemming the edges around here. But if I try to move up here, if I try to do this hem like this, and here, all this stuff is a pain to fold it around. So what I do is I back up a step, go over here. And now I'm gonna use a couple of uh, needles to pins, not needles. Needles are in there. Pins are in there. So. And then we pin this edge down like this. And we pin this one. Now we did the four, put a couple of pins in here. And these pins are going to help me so that when I turn it over like this, I turn it inside out. Now we're starting to see what it's supposed to look like. And these make that edge it's still there. And now we just throw down a couple of pins here. And here. It was a B. Yeah, that's right. Take care of him when we're done filming. So, and I put a couple in there, and now we're going to sew all this up. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And then we get a pocket. Put all the pins in. You're going to have two pins inside here. you got to take those out of there. I've forgotten it once or twice. It's a pain. And now we're going to sew up the edge. You sew up this edge here. All the way around. And then I'm going to do a couple of measurements. And I'll show you where, how, what pattern I use to get my pocket to look good. Do a couple of measurements before I 
start sewing. I do about an inch and a half gap here that I center. So I measure all this and then I cut it out for find the middle and put three quarters of an inch on each side. I use centimeters so it works a lot. It maths a lot easier in my head. And then I measure this distance to this distance. And I use the same for all my pockets. This I use three and a half centimeters. It's like an inch and a half from there. So I know I got a couple of guide marks to do the rest. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So I don't know how easy it is to see the pattern I did. There's the two the tops of the pocket. And there's the bottom. It came out a little crooked because this polyester band in there, right? The corner is right there. And I pushed my presser foot around a little bit. You could easily use a softer kind of band, but I got 20 meters of this stuff that I bought for something else that I couldn't use. So I'm trying to make use of it, and it's real strong. I'm going to end up tying my guide line around that, and uh, what's the other kind? Poly polyethylene band? The softer kind? I think it would take damage of being tied around like that without a D-ring, so this holds real well. But yeah, the only thing is you gotta have a machine that can handle double layer polyester because this stuff is a beast to go through. But there it is, I should put a rope on there and show you what it looks like when it's done. There she is when she's done. And this is paracord. I usually use lash it or zing it, which fits a lot better in that little pocket. But this is. Oh. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some ideas. I'm gonna could have put a couple of pictures on hammock forms.